guys, welcome. This is a general reading from the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, I am glad you landed here. Um, please do come into the comments, say hello, let me know where you're tuning in from. I always do come back in later on this evening. I will come back in, I'll review all the comments, post them to the comments feed, and I will give you a proper hello. So don't be shy. That's how it works here. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull from Whispers of Love Oracle, a nice, soft, gentle way to ease into the reading. It's been a little bumpy lately. We're just coming out of Mercury Retrograde. He stations direct today. Yay! Uh, although it's still a little bumpy when he turns around, he kind of sort of jostles in place. So um, at least we can see that we're in the home stretch so i thought you would like that good news all right whispers of love for sagittarius sun moon rising venus card 34 three and four seven so i'm loving the numerology receive with love and appreciation gracious acceptance is a way to show love so it's talking about your ability to receive right to receive um, gestures of generosity, of kindness, of love, right? Because that receptivity is part of, especially it's part of divine feminine energy. And it's a way of showing love. I like that. Don't forget. Receive with love and appreciation. Ooh, okay, so keep in mind, it's a general reading, not a private reading, so if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Just um, take what speaks to you, leave the rest. If you are interested in a private reading, I do offer them, and the link to the booking page is below every video. You just have to scroll a little bit. Um, yeah. I'm gonna pull the main spread give you the gen my general impressions then I go back around with the clarifiers for the details here we go the lovers card yes overall energy what's crossing it ten of wands so with the ten of wands no sorry ten of pentacles I saw the I saw uh, the wheels I saw W and I thought wands no ten of pentacles so we've got a challenge with regard to the future, right? Is this connection something that could potentially go the distance? That's what the question is. Mm -hmm. Inquiring minds. All right. So we know what the challenge is in your unconscious awareness. Yes, the emperor. I'm feeling twin flame vibes here, my friends. In the past, two of cups, definitely soulmates uh, connected at the level of heart and soul, lovers, two of cups in your conscious awareness, the three of wheels, or in this case, um, pentacles. The three of pentacles is, are we on the same page, right? There, it's a card of cooperation, co-creation, being mutually invested at the start of things. Um, you know, it's where we're building, the beginnings of building, the foundation upon which something can then grow. And in the near future, the Two of Pentacles. So it may be something that um, uh, there's a little bit of a continued juggling act around it, the Two of Pentacles. To me, it can be, it can be a, a little bit of a, a, a stalling for time energy, but it can also be that you may be undecided, that you may need more time to assess realities on the ground. Like, what am I really dealing with here in this connection, and does it really have the capacity to go the distance? That is what I am seeing here. Lovers and the Ten of Pentacles. Six of swords eight of wands and the devil so with the devil here i'm just really feeling some fears right um that are getting the better of you internally um could be possibly your concerns that 
the fears are getting the better of your person. Um, some negative karma creeping in as well. Six of Swords is usually about moving beyond those kinds of negative karmic influences and there's uh, something that needs some discussion talking through it getting beyond the turmoil the turbulence to something more peaceful calm calming the mind um, away from the sense of fear something that's lording over you the um i'm using a different deck here so you won't see it but typically the lover's card and the devil card look identical, except in the lover's card, there is no free will. There's something that's lording over, right? That has more control. Where in the lover's card, there is the archangel and the sun, and you know the two of you choosing each other of your own free will and volition. Um, it's really beautiful. When you see them side by side, you go, wow got it and so that's why this is coming from the bottom of the deck as the potential problem for whether this connection has um, the capacity for something being something more long term and it needs to be talked about right emperor in your unconscious awareness <coughs> three of wands queen of wands knight of wands Wow, all fire energy since the emperor is associated with Aries as is the queen of wands. So you're kind of uh, like coming in as a good match here. Knight of wands is Sagittarian energy and it, the three of wands is what's coming toward you, what you've been manifesting. This is sort of this person um, taking some action, maybe pulling them toward you energetically on some level. I'm not seeing any resistance, but the, the devil can be that. The devil can be egoic fear and resistance. So if there's, for some of you, that may be exactly what I'm picking up on is there may be a lack of action here. There may be something that um, is holding this person back, uh, that they may be over controlling the situation. And so maybe there's not as enough progress being made on some level. Let's see the two of cups in the past. Four of swords, ace of wands, temperance. I feel like I'm coming in after something has happened. I'm not seeing what it was, but I'm seeing hints because in your conscious awareness with the three of pentacles, it's kind of like, are we on the same page now? We're gonna get a little cooperation here because I'm getting with the four of swords, which would very often be a card of healing for this couple. And then the Ace of Wands is a reigniting of the torch of passion and temperance underneath is sort of, but I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to be chill about it. You know, uh, I understand in time, all these energies come into flow and balance. So I'm not going to push, right? Self-control and restraint going with the flow here. But it seems to me that that would be a response from something that may have happened. And so I may be coming in well after the fact. And so energetically in your unconscious awareness, you're sort of anticipating this person taking that action, making a return. Um, and you may be sensing that they are very much in their, in some energy of egoic fear, resistance and control, like holding back. and it's impacting the future, potential future of the connection. Three of Pentacles in your conscious awareness. Six of Cups, Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords to me is like this person's avoidance, not wanting to deal with things directly. You're seeing that very clearly now. Um, you're wanting this cooperative co-creative energy with this past life soulmate but you're kind of having a moment of oh you know I'm seeing that that's the problem <clears throat> and this person 
I'm, I'm really not seeing anything nefarious. I really am seeing that you're becoming aware that there may be something that isn't progressing. Because it's coming from the bottom of the deck. So that sort of either in your unconscious awareness, you're like saying, oh, this doesn't feel right. Um, like they're avoiding me or this is somebody that's trying like trying to control the situation. Um, or maybe you're beginning to have some feelings like I'm not sure I trust this person's intentions. Um, but I don't think it's something that's actually happening. I think it's based on something that may have happened before. Yeah, so let's see the two of pentacles going forward. Queen of cups, page of pentacles and the world. Okay, so kind of a good place to land going forward. It's like, yeah, the jury's still out. Um, I might have all the balls in the air for a little bit longer not closing off my heart yet queen of cups is good because it's a little bit open heart chakra remains open um but she's nobody's doormat okay empath sure no doormat because she's just going to take things one step at a time as she and i'm saying she because it's a queen doesn't have to be a she but it's a learning process one step at a time the page of pentacles is open to learning as they go um, and that's why we're going to keep all the balls in the air. We're just going to kind of assess realities on the ground. And I like seeing the world here because it's Saturn, the great teacher and the Lord of Karma. So Saturn's going to approve of this. This is about, yeah, I want to understand. I don't want to keep repeating the same cycle. So I'm going to keep things loosey goosey. I'm not going to make a, a snap decision, an impulsive decision. I'm going to be open to seeing what's really happening here. I've got a bit of a gut check that doesn't feel so good, um, but I'm, I'm going to be open to seeing how things unfold. Um, and yeah, we're, I'm going to take a deeper dive and complete the Celtic cross there, but also take a deeper dive into this connection what what's working for you what is not working for you what are the opportunities available that might mitigate what's not working for you what does this person want to say to you what do they want you to know what are they picking up from you at 5d like what's the vibe they're getting off of you even if you're not sh quite clear that that's the vibe you're putting out um and so on and so forth so that's what i'm going to do in the extended the links to that are below please be sure to double check you have option one option two option three for how to access the extendeds. If you just want the one time, one and done, it's option two. Be sure to double check that, okay? Um, and before I give you the astrology that showed up here, if you enjoy my readings and you haven't yet done so, please do subscribe below. Um, that helps me build the channel and let YouTube know that she's still here, I'm here um because they have changed some of their algorithm preferences and priorities and that means people like me can get lost in the dust in a serious way so i'm thanking you in advance for supporting me i love you all thank you okay so we have the lovers which is gemini we have devil here is capricorn which is ruled by saturn so i love that connection emperor is aries as so is the queen of wands knight of wands is sagittarius as is temperance so it's clearly your reading um and then we have queen of cups is cancerian energy page of pentacles all the earth signs taurus virgo capricorn and as i said the world card is saturn aquarius and capricorn so that's what i have for you i'm heading to the extended i'll be there in a second thanks for joining me bye for now